Hi IT lovers, welcome to my Tradingwell ECDL e-learning tutorial of the week. Quick reminder before we start, uh, it's a pleasure for me, of course, to share my classes online. But if you want a private uh, session, you can subscribe to my homepage so we can start as soon as possible. Of course, I propose other services also and get uh, some uh, online stores. When you visit my homepage, you will uh, find all that. Uh, just click on the link below in the description of uh, this uh, video. All right, back to topic uh, MS Advanced Access. Now, number two, uh, part seven, the last uh, three questions um, uh, of our good practice of the demo test from icdl.org in English. And as usual, I give you a simple German and French translation of the questions. This is a sample test containing 20 questions, uh, which we can uh, download from icdl.org. Uh, this is where I got them. Or from uh, easyforme.at. Okay, uh, we are almost done. As I said, uh, today we are going to perform the last three questions, the number 18, 19, and 20 of our exercise file called auctioneers. Come on, let's do this. All right, now back to our instructions file. Let's go straight to question 18, 19, and 20, the last, huh? as we said before. Okay, let's start. Question number 18. Open the customer purchases report. Force automatic page breaks to ensure each customer ID displays on a separate page. Ensure there are no blank pages. Save and close the report. Now the German version. Frage Nummer 18. Öffnen Sie den Bericht Customer Purchases. Erzwingen Sie automatische Seitenumbrüche, um uh, sicherzustellen, dass jede Kundennummer auf einer separaten Seite angezeigt wird. Stellen Sie sicher, dass keine leeren Seiten vorhanden sind. Speichern und schließen Sie den Bericht. Uh, question Nummer 18, donc en français. Ouvrez le rapport nommé uh, Customer Purchases. Forcez les sauts de page automatiques pour vous assurer que chaque idée client s'affiche sur une page distincte. Assurez-vous qu'il n'y a pas de page blanche enregistrée et fermez le rapport. Now that we know what we gotta do in three languages, let's go and do it. All right, now back to our uh, exercise file. We have uh, to open the report and we choose uh, the one called uh, customer purchases. Of course, we double click. Takes a little time. My computer is old. <laughs> Thank God I got one. I still got one. I need a new one, but I still got one. Thank you, my son, <laughs> for granting me that. Okay, now uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to take a look at it. We are here on the uh, normal report view. So I'm just going to go ahead and scroll. And let's remember that... Um, the issue we got to fix here is that all uh, customers might uh, be, um, you know, on the same page. Like multiple customers might be on the same page. But the best way we can look at that is to go by tab file. So we go by tab file and uh, we choose here print. And we go uh, straight to print preview. And this is how it looks like, you see. This is the first page, as you can see here by the status. And when we scroll, we see that we have multiple customer on one page. Like we have number one, number two, three, four, five, four customers on the first page. And if we go and take a look at the second one, it's uh, like here we have five, six, seven, eight. We always have, well, maybe I'm saying it too soon, uh, it looks like we always have four customers on each page. Let me go 
ahead and check on page three. Same thing, we have one, two, three, four. Okay, and they want just one customer ID on each page. Okay, right now we have like three pages. No, four, five, six. Okay, let me go to the uh, eight pages. I wanted to go straight to the last page. Okay, we have eight pages with uh, like four customers. Like this one, the last page has only two customers on one page. Probably because it's the last page. Uh, let me go back to the number seven. I know that's uh, page number one. I wanted to go to uh, page seven. Let me go to last page again and go to the number seven. And here we have like one, two, three, four. Okay, as you can see, this is what we got to fix. So we close the print view. And now we go straight to a uh, design view and do that. Okay, now uh, what we have to do is um, let me okay let me go back right in the grid so we we see what we are talking about. The property sheet, as you can see, is already open. I'm gonna make it a little larger so we can see better. And here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose uh, the detail, you know, of each customer ID, and we have to go by tab format here in the property sheet, so we switch. And here we have this row called um, uh, Force uh, New Page, which is uh, not the last one, but the one just above the last one. And here we have None. And what we wanna do is to get a Yes here inside, but before Section. And then they talked also about uh, the fact that we don't want no blank page. Um, for the blank page, here we have a, a row called uh, Auto Height, and here a no it's standing. We are going to get a yes in here, so they're going to make uh, sure that we have no blank page. Basically, this is all we got to do. Now we can close the property sheet, and we're going to go and take a look at it again on the... Um, let's go first back to the report view. Now we don't see as much as we would like to well we can see a little bit already that on the on one page we have uh, one customer but let's go by tab file and by print and by print view and now when we scroll up <clears throat> as you can see <clears throat> excuse me uh we have uh, one customer on each page Okay, here we have only uh, John Anderson, and these are the items he bought. You see, date sold and sell price. And uh, then we can uh, advance, huh? like uh, number two, same thing. It's only one page. And now number three, only one customer per page, you see. So, all right. So we can go ahead and take a look at the last page. So now we have 30 pages. We had only eight pages before because we had four customer ID uh, per page. Now we have only one, so we have more pages. So we are good and um, there are no blank pages or else you would see, <laughs> you can see page 30 is not a blank page. Uh, let's go back a little bit and see by uh, page 29, it's not a blank page. There, there are no blank page because we did the auto height. Okay, we are good uh, with the question number 18. So I'm going to close the print view. And I'm going to uh, close this report. I'm not sure if we should close it. Maybe we... Okay, we close it and we're going to open it again uh, when we need. Of course, we make sure we save. Now, let's go back to our instructions. Now, question number 19. Import the contact spreadsheet from your candidate drive into the auctioneers, uh, auctioneers database as a new table named contacts. Use the first row as field names and sales person ID as the primary key. Accept all other default settings. All right, now the German version. Frage number 19. Importieren Sie die Tabelle Contacts? aus ihrer 
Kandidatenliste als neue Tabelle mit dem Namen Contacts in die Auktionärsdatenbank. Verwenden Sie die erste Zeile als Feldnamen und die äh, Salesperson ID als Primärschlüssel. Übernehmen Sie alle anderen Standardeinstellungen. En français, ça donne question numéro 19. Importez le fichier nommé contact de votre lecteur de candidat dans la base de données nommée auctioneers. Euh, notre exercice, donc, ici, sous la forme d'une nouvelle table que vous nommerez aussi contact. Utilisez la première ligne comme nom de champ et euh, salesperson ID comme... Euh, clé primaire. Acceptez tous les autres paramètres par défaut. Now, let's go and perform this one. It sounds um, more difficult than it really is. Let's go. All right, then, now uh, we have uh, to go to tab uh, external data as it, uh, as it is uh, indeed because this is what we're going to do. We have to go by uh, icon uh, new data here, new data source, and we choose Excel because uh, the spreadsheet is Excel, right? So we open and we want to browse, of course, and here we choose the first uh, option, uh, import the source data into a new table in the current database. That's exactly what we want. So we browse. And uh, I got it on my desktop already, so I'm just going to go ahead and get it in the IT files and images. And here it is. Here we have contacts. This is the one we want. So here we just hit OK. And it shall show up as a, a table, of course, but we got to name it. Computer is, uh, you know, a little slow. <laughs> okay, here it is. Um, okay, first row contains column headings. Okay, sales person ID. Okay, next. All we got to do here is next. And here we need the sales person as a primary key, so we have to hit the next. And we choose our own. And it's going to be a salesperson ID. That's right. And we hit next here and we call it contacts. Contacts. So we are good. All we have to do is to finish. They didn't tell us to save the, the import steps. So we close. And here what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go and take a look if we have a table called contacts. Indeed, let's open it. It wasn't here before. I should have shown you before. <laughs> it wasn't here before. We just imported it. Okay, so it's a, you know, a little table with uh, like uh, 10 passengers, <laughs> 10 records. Okay, we're good. Uh, that was uh, question 19. It was easy. All right. So we can close the tables and uh, I think we can also close the reports. I'm not sure. Or else we just reopen the reports. Okay, now let's go back to question number 20. All right, uh, last question of uh, the day <laughs> and uh, last question of topic access advanced. Okay, now let's read it. Question number 20. Open the commission form. Apply the show com macro to the command button named show commission in the form footer. This macro will display the commission caption and control when the show commission button is clicked. Save and close the form. Save and close all open objects and close any open applications. This is the end of the test, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, Jules. Now, um, the German version of question number 20. Frage Nummer 20. Öffnen Sie das Formular Commission. Verwenden Sie das Makro uh, Schokom 
auf die Befehlschallfläche Show Commission in der Fußseile des Formulars an. Dieses Makro zeigt die Beschriftung und das Steuerelement der Commission an. Wenn auf die Schallfläche Show Commission geklickt wird, speichern und schließen Sie das Formular. Speichern und schließen Sie alle geöffneten Objekte und schließen Sie alle geöffneten Anwendungen. Maintenant en français, donc la dernière question de notre test ici, la numéro 20. Ouvrez le formulaire euh, nommé commission, oh, en anglais commission. Appliquez la macro showcom au bouton de commande nommé show commission dans le pied de page du formulaire. Cette macro affichera la légende et le contrôle de commission lorsque vous cliquez sur show commission. Enregistrer et fermer le formulaire. Enregistrer et fermer tous les objets ouverts et fermer toutes les applications ouvertes. Bon, bah ça on verra. <rire> we are ready to go and perform that last question. Let's go and do it. Ok, we were right to close the reports. We are done with the report. Now we have to go a little above and open the form gallery. And um, we have only two. And uh, we have to choose uh, the commission one. So we double click and here, as we can see, uh, let's remember that we have, let me make it bigger here. Okay. We have like a three uh, keywords somehow here. The form called commission, the macro uh, called the show come and the button called the show commission. This is what we have to deal with. Okay. First of all, let's uh, take a look here in the gallery of the macro. Yes, we have something called Chocom, all right? And we also got to take a look at the form right now in the form view. We have this button right here, which is called Show Commission. And here in this area, um, there is something which is supposed to appear at the end of the day called Commission. So we're going to check that. Okay, we go to the design view here. And here we are. Okay, this is uh, the button show commission. We have to go by a property sheet again. We open it and here uh, we have to go by, uh, I think it's an event. Yes. Yes, it is an event. Let me make the property sheet a little bigger so you can uh, see, right? Okay, it's going to be on click of uh, show come, uh, this uh, macro. All right, so we're good. So we can close the property sheet and go take a look at it. We go back to form view and now we test the thing. We click on show commission and something shall happen. All right. We have commission appearing. We didn't have that before. Now we have commission 1390 and it's of course happening everywhere. If I switch to the next one, next record. We have commission appearing. We didn't have that before. <laughs> okay. We are good with uh, question uh, number uh, 20. Huh? We did assign the macro to the button. Okay. The rest is coming next, if God's willing. Uh, first of all, let me close this form right now. Make sure we save it. And uh, I want to thank you for watching. I hope uh, you could learn uh, something new indeed. Or I could uh, refresh your memory uh, with something you forgot about. Uh, as I said, uh, if God's willing, the rest is coming next. It's going to be another topic. I'm going to start uh, GIMP with you. <laughs> and it's going to be uh, in German. And I'm going to, again, try my best to give you a... Uh, um, an English and a French translation of the questions and for the practice uh, I'm going to leave everything in German this time so you can learn a little bit more of German I mean the app is going to be in German all right you all so God bless you bye bye